Andrew's government is in crisis tonight with two cabinet ministers gone and another's future in doubt. The Premier today sacked Adam Somurek in disgrace after 60 minutes aired damning allegations of corruption and vile backroom behaviour. State political reporter Andrew Lund begins our coverage. He boasted of being a kingmaker. Will you be resigning from the ALP today? I'm going into the city. I'm going to the city. I'll see you guys there. But this morning, Labor factional power broker and minister Adam Somurek drove himself to the government offices at Treasury Place for his political execution. Mr Somurek was not offered an opportunity to resign. He's not worthy of an opportunity to resign. He was sacked. It followed explosive claims aired on 60 Minutes and in The Age, alleging the use of taxpayer-funded staff to help stack local party branches. Having stripped him of his ministry, Premier Daniel Andrews demanded Mr Somurek's expulsion from the Labor Party. His conduct and his comments are completely deplorable. They are shameful and... It is on that basis that there is no place in my government for him. This is political corruption in its worst sense because it basically says political power is more important than the interests and the welfare of the people of this state. Mr Somurek's factional allies, Ministers Marlene Kairouz and Robin Scott, were also implicated in the scandal. I have sought from them an assurance that they have at all times behaved appropriately. They have provided me with that assurance. When you've been referred to the Anti-Corruption Commission by your own boss, you are under a corruption cloud. Mr Somurek is seeking a police investigation of his own to determine the origin of secret recordings in which he's heard making homophobic comments and derogatory remarks about Labor colleagues, including Minister for Women and the Prevention of Family Violence, Gabrielle Williams. No, 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 they're dumb, they're stupid, all these little... Like Gabrielle and I, they don't know how f they are. Fourth out of the mystery, that f stupid bitch. Andrews goes. I was appalled by the comments from Mr Somerak last night and immediately reached out to Minister Williams and offered support. Ms Williams issued a statement saying whether at home, in the street, at work or in the halls of Parliament, this language is unacceptable. When it does occur, it must be called out. I simply will not tolerate I will not tolerate those sorts of comments or attitudes uh, from any member of my team. Now, Andrew, you have some breaking news. A second minister has quit. Uh, yes, Pete, in the past hour, Robin Scott announced he is resigning as Assistant Treasurer and will move to the backbench to serve as the member for Preston. The Premier has referred this matter to Victoria Police and IBAC and Mr Scott says he's conscious of the toll that investigation will take on him and his young family. He's issued a statement uh, saying he looks forward to the opportunity to clear his name and he's very confident that the investigative process will do so. There's no word yet on what Marlene Kairou's plans to do, but she presides over some prickly portfolios, liquor licensing and gaming. They're areas where you do not want any whiff of corruption and her continuing presence on the government's front bench uh, will likely cause the Premier some issues when Parliament returns tomorrow. Either way, though, this has been a seismic day uh, for the Andrews government. It's not every day you lose one minister, let alone two, but today we've seen uh, one sacked, one quit and a third holding on for now with the promise of more revelations to come in the coming days. Pete? Andrew Lund, thank you for that. Claims of bullying have shadowed Adam Somurek, including physically intimidating his former chief of staff. Brett McLeod says today marks the third strike for the fallen factional heavyweight. This comment will sound familiar. His position was untenable. I sought his resignation and he has given it. That was five years ago. The first time Adam Somurek was dumped from Cabinet. My resignation should not be taken uh, as admission of guilt. Elected in 2002, Mr Somurek hit the headlines in 2009 when he was dumped from a government committee by then Premier John Brumby after he was caught driving without a licence. And I feel like a bloody idiot. It's just not good enough for me, for a person in my position. The then Health Minister weighed in. No-one's uh, above the law and 
obviously the processes will take their course. In 2015, serious bullying claims were made. On one occasion, the minister grabbed and physically shook my face. His chief of staff says she was verbally and physically abused by her boss. I did not want to think of myself as a victim. Factional allies came to his defence. Well, I've known Adam Somirak for um, 12 years now and it's certainly um, not the Adam that I know. But an investigation found against Mr Somirak he was forced out of Cabinet. I maintain my innocence. Three years later, the so-called butter knife incident in the parliamentary dining room, when it's claimed Mr Somirek physically threatened Labor colleague John Aaron. There was an incident that took place last night and, uh, and I've reported that to the presiding officer. Despite that, 18 months ago, Mr Somirek was reinstated to Cabinet, a sign of his factional power. The Premier saying Mr Somirek was a better man than he'd ever been. It's an honour and... Uh... And a privilege, and I've got to say it's humbling too to have the opportunity to come back. As local government minister, he most recently oversaw the dismissal of Whittlesea Council, ironically over bullying allegations. If you're doing the wrong thing, uh, the, we will come down on them. As Mark Twain is quoted as saying, history doesn't repeat, but it rhymes. Brett McLeod, Nine News. And the shockwaves have been felt in Canberra, where the Prime Minister said the ALP has a lot to answer. Political editor Chris Yulman joins me live from Parliament House. Chris, could we see federal intervention in the Victorian Labor Party? Well, you certainly couldn't rule it out, Peter. There was a complete overhaul of the New South Wales branch after it was rocked by scandal last year. And both Daniel Andrews and Anthony Albanese have made it clear they'll have more to say about what happens next in coming days. Adam Somirek is seen as a symptom of the fragmentation of the right wing of Labor in Victoria. Many have been subjected to his abuse. Few are sorry to see him go. And Anthony Albanese was keen to join the Victorian Premier in burying the fallen minister. There were sexist comments, they were homophobic, uh, they were completely inappropriate. The Labor Party will be a better party with the removal of this individual. But Peter, that's hardly likely to be the last word on this because as we have already seen this evening, others may yet be hauled down with him. Chris Hillman, thank you for that.